Hi, this is Gary with Flash Game University, FlashGameU.com. Right now I'm going to show you how to make a toggle button using ActionScript 3. First thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to create, uh, make sure it's ActionScript 3. There. I'm going to bring up my tool and property menus there. I'm going to create a simple button, very simple. Just a box, uh, black line, and shade and that's going to be our toggle button. So the idea here is that uh, this button will have two states, the on and off state. Uh, we're going to say that it's something like a video um, video button where you play and stop. So uh, I'm going to take this and I'm going to press F8. That will allow me to turn that into a symbol. I'm going to create a movie clip from it. I'm going to call it toggle button. Great, and I'm going to click to go in it and actually create several frames. So I'm going to do that by just basically selecting the frame and pressing F6 three times. So I've got four frames here. And the first frame I'm going to make the off state, uh, which in a video playback situation would be something like uh, something labeled play. Give that a color. Like that. And just put it vaguely over the center. Like that. Okay, now uh, I'm going to take that text there and I'm actually going to paste it here in the second frame, but this will be the rollover state when you've rolled over the button, so we'll make that some sort of color, like a blue color. And then in this one, we're actually going to paste it and I'm going to change its name to stop. So this will be the on state. The video is playing and we want to stop it now. So there you go. And we paste it here too, but we'll give it that same rollover color. There, so we basically got a, a play rolling over the play button, then you press play, and now it goes to stop, and that's rolling over the stop button. Uh, what we're going to do here then is create a simple script uh, that will stop this movie from playing here at the very beginning. Okay, great. So now if we save this, we'll end up with something where we just run it to test, and made up with a simple button, doesn't do anything yet. Next thing we're going to do is create a script at the main frame right here. So we're going to open up the script window and I need to remember to name this button so we'll name it toggle button right there. And I'll copy that from there because we're going to use that a lot in our script the name there. I'm going to go ahead and add an event listener. And I'm going to name it I'm going to use the mouse over, and I'm going to say on mouse over we're going to call rollover toggle. Great. Now I'm going to go ahead and create one for mouse out. out toggle. I'm also going to create a event for when the user presses. Great, so we got three different events here that are going to be handled. So what we're going to do now is we want to go back into the but itself, we got these four frames. I'm going to give them names. So I'm going to name this first one here. Uh, this will be in the off state. So it'll just be called off. Then we're going to have a rollover state here. We called off over, meaning that the cursor is over the button. And we're going to have the on state. And finally, the on state over. So we have off, off over, on, on over. Back in our script, then we'll be able to address the button by those frame labels. So we're going to create our first function, which is for when the cursor rolls over it. We're actually going to, uh, we have to pass in the event into the function because an, an event listener expects that even though we won't be using it. What we'll be doing here is um, we'll be telling, this is uh, when the user rolls over the button we're going to tell the button itself to go to and stop and 
we're going to actually use something called the toggle button state button state. So let me finish this off and I'll explain. Okay, so basically uh, the toggle button is a movie clip. It's just a movie clip we've created and we haven't assigned any class to it, meaning that it's a dynamic object. Dynamic objects are something you can assign a variable to, as many properties to as you want. So toggle button, we can create a new variable, a new property of the toggle button. We're going to call that button state. And we're going to assign it the string on. So we basically hit a new variable that's associated with toggle button and it's going to be set to on. Now in this handler here, when the user rolls their mouse over it, we're going to have the toggle button go to and stop a frame that is the state name, in this case on, with space over after it. So go to on space over. Now if the button state was off, it would go to off space over, which are of course two of the frames that we've created. We can then copy this function here very easily and um, create roll out toggle and what will happen here is instead of going to the over frame, we just want to go to the frame that's exactly named the name of the state, either on or off. So there we go. So this will send it to either on or off. This will send it to on over or off over. There's the four states of the button. That's for rolling over and rolling out of the toggles. Now we actually want to have the button toggle itself. So we're going to create the toggle click function. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use this button state. We're going to look to see. I'm going to, I was copying it there into the buffer. I'm going to say if uh, the button state there is on, then we're quite simply going to turn it off. Otherwise, it already is off, so we're going to turn it on. Then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing that the rollover toggle does because if you've just clicked on the button to turn it on or off, your cursor must be over it. Therefore, we should switch right to the over state for that button. So we're basically repeating what's in that function there. So what will happen is you click on it. Uh, initially, the button state is on. And actually, what we want to do is create the button state off, because initially it'll say play, which means it's off, and stop means it's on, because the button label will indicate that you want to switch to the opposite function. So we start with off. Then if you roll over, it's going to change to off space over, roll out, and it changes back to off. And then roll over again, changes to off space over. You click down on it, toggle click activates, and what will happen is it'll say, OK, uh, it was off, so we're going to change it to on. And then it's going to change to on space over, which is what we want. And that will activate the toggle button just the way we want. So let's try to test that out. Great, so I roll over, and there it changes to the blue. I click, and it changes to the stop, and I can roll over and out. Click again, changes to place. Now we've got a toggle button there. And of course, the only difference is the word, but those frames could be completely different frames, like the button could be different colors, different shapes, anything you want. It's up to you to make that movie clip into anything that you need. Now, if you wanted to actually have things happen, like for instance, a movie to start playing, or uh, something to go, this is where it would be, right here. This is the point where you say, okay, we're toggling the button to the on state. So right here is where I could add something um, that happens. And this is where I could do the opposite. So no matter what you're doing, playing an animation, playing a video, uh, doesn't really matter, playing a sound, you could go ahead and put the two things it does in these spots. And that's it. That's how to create a toggle button in ActionScript 3. This has been Gary with Flashgame University, flashgameu.com. Thanks a lot.